and then the goal is for our team to end up in the top 16 out of 80 teams in our division and this is just the first time our team is competing so not expecting them to to necessarily get in the top 16 but even if they don't get in the top 16 we need to network with other players and make sure uh, other teams notice us so that even if we're not in the top 16 we can potentially get chosen as an alliance member So when you're at Worlds, you can see lots of really, really cool teams. And you don't just see teams from your own division as well. You can also see teams from other divisions who are practicing. So here we have Wingus and Dingus behind me, which are national champions in uh, the USA tournament. So right now our team is uh, talking with this British team called Shatter Squad, organizing some alliances. And now they're going to go and look at some other robots. Of course, walking around the pit is only one way to find potential alliance partners. Another way to find alliance partners is just simply to talk to your teammates when you're doing your qualifiers. And here we had an amazing game with this team, uh, 99500B. Uh, our team loved talking with their drivers uh, and they were really, really friendly. So yeah, if we had a chance to choose, then we would most likely pick this team. So the team is getting ready for our line selection now. This is at the end of the qualifying matches. After the qualifying matches, the top 16 get a chance to choose an alliance member to do the playoffs. And now we are ranked right on the border. So let's hope that we can get it. All right, we're going now to our eighth place scene, which is 839Z. Caution tape zoom. Oh, caution tape. Ontario, my neck of the woods. Would like to select 27278. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh!